Hi, I'm Bob. So far, we have discussed three estimation methods for panel data models. We allow the explanatory variables to be correlated with the time invariant component of the error term. And we can achieve consistent estimates using these methods. The individual fixed effects demeaning method is the most commonly used approach. It subtracts the individual mean from observations so that the time invariant component of the error term is eliminated from the model. The fixed effects dummy variables method treats the individual fixed effects as control variables and directly estimates them. The first differencing method removes the individual fixed effects by the first differencing transformation. Today, we will examine the fourth method that can consistently estimate the effect of explanatory variables on the outcome variable. It is called the correlated random effects approach. It is also called the Monlex approach. Rather than subtracting the individual means from observations, we include the individual means in the model. After adding the individual means xi bar to the model, we control for the correlation between the explanatory variables and the time invariant component of the other term, that is the individual fixed effects mu i. As a result, the estimate of the beta will be consistent. Let's continue to use the dataset for the US workers. We have already estimated the models with the random effects method and the fixed effects method and store the results. Let's prepare for the Monlex correlated random effects model. First, we generate the individual means for the time varying variables, Julian and age. We type by saw ID, colon, followed by the egen command. We generate the average over time within each individual for Julian and age variables. We use the same sample size as the standard random effects model using the if modifier. Then we add the individual means to the standard random effects model. Let's execute it and store the results. Next, we show the estimates from the fixed effects, the random effects, and the correlated random effects approaches. We find that the estimates for the time varying explanatory variables, Julian and age in our case, are identical to the fixed effects model. The estimates for the time invariant variables, schooling and gender in our case, are similar to the random effects model. There are advantages of using the correlated random effects approach. First, it allows the time invariant explanatory variables in the model, and we can estimate their effects. In our example, we can estimate the gender and education effects on wages. The estimates are very close to those in the random effects model. At the same time, we obtain the estimates for the time varying variables as in the fixed effects model. Second, the correlated random effects method provides a simple way of choosing between the fixed effects and the random effects methods. It is called the Monlek test. The long hypothesis is that the coefficients of the individual means alpha are zero. A high statistic and tidy p-value suggests that we reject the long hypothesis. It is evidence of the correlation between the time varying explanatory variables and the time invariant component of the error term. And therefore, the fixed effects model is preferred it is the case in our example. 
we restore the correlated random effect results and perform the Munglek test. We find that the coefficients of the time-varying variables, Yulian and age, are statistically significantly different from zero. The Munglek test is an alternative test to the Hausmann test. The Hausmann test gives the same conclusion. Thank you for watching this video. See you.